Hi. Hello. Yo. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Um. Now this Instagram live shit because I really never effed with it. Now I could record it, right? I don't know. I mean, like, I really don't know. Wait. I have no clue. All right. Um. So I mean, if I screen record it, if I screen record it, um, um, the audio won't work on it. Won't work on it. I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. Yeah, I have no clue. Right. I have no clue. Like, okay, so, so the the video itself. The video itself does it stay on my Instagram? I don't know. Actually, now that I think about that, I don't know. You don't know either, right? No, I don't know. Wow. Like, because I know, like, you can, like, we're live right now, so I don't know if it's like Facebook, how I can like go live and you can, like you'll have that thing on your like profile forever. You know what I mean? I don't really know. Yeah, just. This stays on your Facebook forever. Yeah. So I don't know if that's how it works with this too, or it's different. Yeah, facts. Facts. That's so I don't really know. I like. I used to be on Instagram a lot, but I mean, I don't really get on Instagram anymore huh? since I've locked out of like all my other accounts. Like I'm like locked out of everything. I've tried to like hack them. I've tried to reset my passwords. Yeah. And yeah. my number goes back to my bullshit. And I don't have that phone anymore. So I'm like, okay. This account right here is a shady villain account. Like from that long ago. Yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So let's get started with this interview. You know what I mean? Okay. It's the boy Heck to the Tech to the Get That Check. Live from Queens, New York, baby. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm over here with Candy Tax. She's an artist from Texas, originally born born in Staten Island, New York, Island, but raised most of her life in Texas. So she's pretty much a Texas girl. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, Corpus Crispy. Well, like I was in Corpus for like five years. Before that, I've been pretty much in San Antonio. San Antonio, for yeah, me, and that's where um Selena's from, and and stuff like. That. Selena's from Corpus. Corpus. Oh, fact. Cor yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. That's so funny. Selena, Selena, you know what I mean? Shout out to Selena. yeah. And um, you know what I mean? And her music, her mu her music's still popping. That ass. I love my music. You know, it's fucked up, but I like listen to my shit like every day, as if like I'm like Kevin Gates or something. Word. You know what I'm doing right now? What? Um, like I'm listening to um the Kanye West album and Breakout, and I'm trying to really? decide who's better. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to, I know what you mean. Trying to decide who got the better album. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So which one are you feeling right now? Are you feeling Kanye West? Or are you feeling like well, I thought I just started I just started so I can't I can't really put my opinion on it. But so far Kanye West I for real. I, I guess I'm gonna have to like listen to it then. Yeah, it's fine. For real. So yeah. Um, so anyway, let's get into your story because you got an interesting story. I do, right? And, um, and I remember, I remember, um, I met you a long time ago from 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 online. Um, I remember, I remember you used to talk to my my man Peru. Yeah. And me, you know what I'm saying? We used to always have this yeah. where 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 we was gonna collaborate on a song. Or whatever. Yeah. Thing. Um and we're supposed to like fly you out here. And I was so ready to go too. I was so ready to go back to New York. Like 
that was like somewhere I wanted to be. Like I really wanted to make music with you. Right. And but shit happens, you know. And that that never happened. But but you started doing your own thing. You started you started doing your own thing. And I I saw you started like like blowing up in your. Own. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. doing your own thing, getting your own fans. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I was impressed. I'm as right. I'm going to holler back at her and, you know what I'm saying? We make a track. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. but, but obviously that never happened because uh, a situation happened. You know what I mean? A situation happened. Yeah. And um, it did. This situation um, really, really, uh, like stop, stop from, um, from, um, you know, stop. It stopped my life completely. Yeah. What are you talking about? Like, yeah. it took two years out of my life to just be in jail, being incarcerated, and from me going to a princess, like I always consider myself a princess. I don't consider myself a queen yet because one, I'm not married. And my mom's my queen. So, but it changed my life forever. I mean, I'm still facing who knows what. Who knows what's going to happen to me in a couple years. Who knows where I'm going to be. Who knows if I'm going to be able to, like, do anything with my life. It's It's been um, a big downfall in my future. And it stopped my life completely, especially my music. Like, it's, it's ridiculous that... I mean, shit happens, yeah, I, but I, I, not many not many people will look at me and be like, "Oh my God, she's facing a murder charge." Like, they look at me like, "Oh my God, she's so innocent." Take it back a little bit because people 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 don't know that that you're facing a murder charge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or artists. Yeah. From my that's how I'm that's how I knew you. you were yeah. An artist. And I wanted to work with you. And, you know what I'm saying? It was making like music. That's what you know what I'm saying. And um, that's how we we bond through music. Yeah. Um, yeah. The situation that happened came out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't I didn't have no clue. You just like vanished from the map. I was like, whatever happened to um to the facts. Stacks, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, candy stacks just fell off the grid for a little bit. So I went to go look on your page one day, and there was all these people disrespecting you, and all of this, and then, and then, and then, and then I saw, I saw, I saw the, uh, I saw, I saw the post where of what happened. Um. Uh, yeah. A woman have a. Fatally, but but that because of um because of a uh, domestic violence issue. Am, am I right or wrong? Yes, you're completely right. I was in a crazy relationship, and most people like would look at me and think that my life is completely fine. And you know, for I was in a relationship for five years, the first relationship I've ever had in my life. He, I was very dependent on him for a while. Um. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't really know what I was getting myself into. And once I was in it, I was just kind of stuck. And I depended on him. He was, like, the only stability I ever had in my life. He did a lot for me. I can say that. But he also did a lot of bad to me, which put me in the situation I'm in now. And he was also um, an army, army veteran, if I'm He was, um, yeah. He was a veteran. Um, he, did he did 28 years in the military. Wow. And he's a, huh. and on top of him doing twenty eight years in the military, he was a doctor. So. He was a doctor. Wow. So 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 he um no and I saw the pictures with where 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 he beat you. For yeah. Years. And I think I think I remember I remember seeing a video once where 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 um. I don't know if it was you that posted it or somebody posted it where not to snitch on nobody or to make nobody look bad, but this was out there. You know what I mean? It's 
it just showed up. But I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw a dude beating on you. Yeah, that was him. Um, for a while, I was really scared, and I didn't really know what to do. Um, the cops wouldn't believe me. Like, every time the cops would come to our house, if I called the cops because he was choking me out or beating me or something, they would end up arresting me. I remember that. Um, I remember that. Yeah. So I actually went to jail about five times um, within from 2016 to 2019. Um, they would literally just, I would leave the house because I would beat the fuck up. And he would call the cops because I left the house. And right when I would leave the house, like, they would pull me over. And they, they really fucked my life up. Like, it was a very crazy, traumatic situation to be in. And nothing, I can never go back. I can never change what has happened. And having to accept it every day is something I have to do. I feel you. Now, now they say, they say in the article that, um, something about that he was, he was playing with the gun, like, like, like he wanted to. Yeah. You chew first or something like that or like um he did he shot at me and um the bullet did graze my arm and i i mean it really i got pretty much hit with the bullet the bullets were in my fucking wall so they can't say that it didn't happen because they saw them um a lot of my neighbors also knew that i was getting beat up they would watch it and some of them would call the cops some of them would just like ignore it and it was just, it was a crazy situation, but a lot of people are, like, putting this on me because they're saying, like, oh, he's an army veteran, um, she was just a prostitute, I'm like, if people knew that I actually wasn't, like, I know what I did, I know what happened, but the way they have portrayed me is a complete disgrace to myself. Facts. And I know you because... I remember you telling me thing. And I know you. I know you like, like you're a very good yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you're very talented and, um, um we were supposed to work with some music and um after that I was like wow wow you know what I'm saying like the rules like what happened to her. Anyway, um so 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 um so that 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 struggle or whatever whatever happened that day he he went to attack No, he was he was beating the fuck out of me with the bat. It wasn't he was trying to no no no. I was getting the fuck beat out of me. Like I've never I mean, he's beat the fuck out of me before, but that day it was a whole other situation. But it happened because I was leaving. I was done. I didn't want to be in it anymore. He kept, um, every time I would leave, he would go find my car by tracking my car um, through OnStar, um, disable my car by taking the fuses out. Um, and then the only way I could restart my car is by calling him like, hey, can you come? bringing my fuses, like, this is ridiculous, like, and he begged me to come home, and I would come home, and for a couple of days, it'd be fine, but then everything would change again, and, and I, remember, I know he didn't care about me. I was all the time that you loved this, you really loved it, and, I, and I was, and, I loved him with, I mean, I have his name all over my body. Even after the situation happened, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to bring up feelings whatever I don't want to make things even after the situation that happened you still posted that you and yeah like really, he that would never ha have happened you know what I mean yeah you you know like people don't realize and especially with domestic his violence his was obviously a little bit messed up in this I mean 20 um, years he was in the military or army whatever yeah yeah. Obviously a little bit messed up, you know what I mean? Like And he was thirty years older than me. Wow. So thirty No, no, twenty years older than me. He was twenty years older than me. Um he met me on back page. I was an escort at one time. He met me on back page and I actually didn't know he was married. Too much info, you know what I mean? I know. Wow. But it was it was crazy. 
And now they have me on house arrest. So I'm just living my life in this house, like trying to adapt to things and realizing that I'm going through shit and having to accept it every day and understanding that I don't really know the outcome of my life now. Facts. I believe yeah. everything's going to be okay. I think. I think so too. I believe. I believe. I believe. I'm glad on this one because obviously, I mean, come on. I mean, you have proof. Proof is in the pudding. There's, there's a lot of proof. Um, what really fucked me up on this was um, this guy out of Corpus that I used to. I mean, I was like literally, I guess you can call me his little side out for a while. He, uh, Hold up. Hold up. Wait, let's take it back. Let's take it back. That's what I want to ask you about. Because I read something about this. I, I read something about this. Like, he was caught when he when um you got with a, another dude, right? Yeah. After after that situation happened. And he 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 committed a murder, you know what I mean? Again, no snitching, no nothing, you know what I mean? The 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 info is out there. You know what I'm saying? People could look it up yeah. out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, um, him and his friend committed a murder or whatever. I don't, I don't. Uh, triple homicide. Yeah. yeah. And flower bluff. They found yeah. credit cards. Um, they found no. What they found was my wallet. Um. Oh. He, I went to jail. Literally, I had been out on bond. Um, and I ended up going back to jail. I was I called my charge on October 11th, bonded out October 18th, went back to jail on December 3rd. On December 3rd, I didn't know I was going back to jail. I thought I was just going for a um like a pretrial diversion, like just making sure I was doing everything right. And when I went, um they automatically arrested me. And so that was on December 3rd. The triple homicide ended up happening December 15th, but I was already incarcerated. I had already been in jail for like almost 2 weeks and um, a couple days after that, they tried to charge me with an accessory to capital murder, um, organized crime. Um, they tried to charge, charge me with a lot of stuff, but the thing was, I was already incarcerated. So you can't charge someone with something, like, you can't prove that anything, like, I wasn't there. But they were trying to say that I was the criminal mastermind behind all this. And the crazy thing is, like, all this shit happened, and nobody, like, all these people, like, look bad, like, at me, and I'm like, hold on, like, I saved my life. I didn't, I didn't just hate this person. This was the love of my life. Like, well, uh, what they found on that, on that, on that dude was your wallet. Yes. Had, they didn't say that. Because you was locked up. Yeah. Right? Because I was locked up. Yes. Copy. So, they found my wallet, and in my wallet was my ex's, all of his information, his driver's license, um, everything. So, they were trying, they pretty much tied us together. Yeah. And, yeah, so. Oh, no, you're, it was, you're totally innocent. You're totally innocent. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I remember way, way even before the situation, you, know, you was always complaining and arguing like this. I love this guy, but. So blah blah this. And blah. But fuck, I'm like, damn, like, why do you have to beat me every day? Like, I love you. I'm not doing anything wrong. Like, you wanted a housewife, you got one. Wow. Like, pictures. Wow. You, yeah. You really being on you hard. I mean, domestic violence, the mother humper. I mean, yeah. Like, I got a shovel to the face a few times. Like, I broke my nose. I still have scars. I have scars on my head. Um, I was stabbed. I was. I was beat the fuck up. I mean, last time I got beat up, I was, it was with a bat. And they, yeah, it was, it so, was a fucked up situation. So, so I, remember, I, remember, I remember you made Bell, right? You made Bell the first time. I made Bell three times. You made Bell three times and you was out. And then they came and grabbed you. And put Again, they gave me an emergency court hearing the first time and then the second time. The second time I was only out for four days. I was out for four days, and then they did another emergency court hearing. I walked into court, and they rearrested me and put my bond to 500000 cash. Um, so they wouldn't release me. They wouldn't drop my bond. They wouldn't nothing. Um, they, I mean, it, it was a really fucked up situation. Wow. Now, you out, like, 
on house arrest. Yeah. Well, to say that, um, I mean, yeah, we can edit. I mean, I can edit. The, ain't, ain't nobody really about it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you out on press? Yeah. I'm, on, I'm out on house arrest right and now. Leaving, joining, whatever. But anyway. I'm like, I got I an gotta ankle monitor. I see that. I see that. You know what I mean? Or, I have one of those. So, yeah, it's like the worst thing in the world, actually. Like, you don't, you think you're coming out of jail to be free, but mm, freedom isn't really a choice. It's not. Because it, I mean, it was a choice to be free. You know what I mean? At least you're home for the moment. Enjoy, enjoy that moment with loved ones. And, you know, which if you got a pet or whatever, it's. And do I have a dog? I love it. You know, enjoy those moments. I mean, and yo, keep and and even if you go back in, yo, just fight, fight, go to the yeah. library. You know what I'm saying? Study, yeah. Study, you know what I mean? You'll come out. Yeah. You're still a young woman, very young. I mean, I'm sure everything's gonna go all right. You're going to be yeah. right. You know what I mean, and um, you know, uh, you got a dope thought, like like a book. You could do so many things. You can inspire yeah. people. You could. You got good at. It. And uh, you know what I mean? I believe. I believe there's a bright future for you. No, thank you. Just, I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, no, just but as of right now, I'm just I'm just at home, twenty four seven. Um, house arrest sucks, but I deal with it every day. I'm accepting it for what it is, and I just pray every day that my case is gonna get dismissed. Cause me, I'm only thirty, and being thirty years old and facing a murder charge is one of the hardest things in my life. I have to accept it every day and deal with all my consequences. But the thing is, I saved my life. Like, it's proven. Like, everybody knows. I mean, and the fucked up thing was, he was literally, like, two days before it happened, he had just got off ankle monitor for assault with strangulation on me. Um, is, you know why? Because cause usually, usually it's dudes, dudes that are killing women. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> Like, it wasn't going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You know, like, we're going to flip the script. You know? Yeah. It's not going to happen. Um, but the crazy thing is, the only reason I caught my murder charge wasn't because I, they, I didn't get arrested the day. I didn't get arrested the next day. I got arrested 15 days later because the day before, my air conditioner went off, went out in my car. So I contacted someone and asked them if they could fix it. And I guess they had already known, come to find out, like a lot of people know that he is a snitch in Corpus Christi, but he's actually very known in Corpus. His name's Nate Nichols. He deals with Nate Entertainment. Um, he hires all the artists and everything, like Kevin Gates, Yellow BV, um, Yo Gotti. Like, he sends everybody down to Corpus. Well, originally, I had been working um next to him i guess and i was also his little side girl from whatever you want to call me and he completely like fucking framed me i mean he's all over my discovery package it's it's fucking sad like it's horrible especially when i had just made um a song with libola who had just gotten out of jail for murder and um the next thing you know i catch murder charge because his manager snitches on me like but he didn't even stitch on me. He didn't know anything. Like, I'm not that type of person that just, like, puts all my business out there like that. Mm -hmm. And all my business was out there. Everything. I know, I know. I read that part, too. It, and that part was crazy. That part was crazy where, uh, where, where, um, they said, uh, he went to go, uh. He said that I was trying to sell him my car. Yeah. Because I needed money to, um, represent myself in court. Uh, nigga, for one, no, I didn't. Two, I needed my air conditioner fixed, and you're the one who offered me to buy my car, and I said no. He fucking even got his son. His son's all over my paperwork, too. I'm like, these people have, man, they're trash. Like, and the fucked up thing is, now he's looking at fed time because he did some off-the-wall fucked up shit. Like, oh, I'm the bitch, though. Yeah, he's um, on ankle monitor right now. He just got all the feds. Um, Y'all can use that. Y'all can use that as... 
like I really like just want to make a whole song based on Corpus Christi because there's actually songs out there through Michael White um called Crooked Christie. Yo, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, but yeah. The Lena on Ratchet. Yeah. I can make it happen. That's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So word up. But yeah, that's crazy though though. You know what I'm saying? I am my yep. story, you know and you know, you know, um your side, I'm rooting for you. And, um Thank you, I appreciate it. Give you uh, of course I believe you because you know, I mean this shit happened in New York all the time. Like dudes killed their girls, like everybody happened right. A lot. It's happening. Yeah. Right. A dude is killing a girl right now. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like probably in the Bronx on you know what I'm saying? On like all the time. A dude is mad jealous like yeah, and he didn't like that I was, like, um, pursuing my music career either. Like, he always told me, like, I was going to leave him. And I was like, I'm just doing me. Like, you've had your life to go and do everything you wanted to do. You're retired now. Like, what? he could never accept. He accepted who I was in the beginning, supported my dreams, and then my dreams became my reality, and it just became too much for him. But no matter what, like, I'm okay. Like I'm not, I'm not scared of anything. I'm not scared of going back to jail. I'm not scared of anything. Oh, I'm, I've everything that I've been scared of has did, already happened. First, did like two, three years already, right? Yeah, I just did. Um, almost two years. It was like a year and a half mm -hmm. in New Oasis County Jail, and um, the fucking worst year and a half. That was the worst jail I've ever been to. It was disgusting, ratchet. That place is disgusting. And you show, um, you me all that mail. That bell you got, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, those were rhymes, right? The rhymes? A lot of it, yeah, most of it was um, all my lyrics that I wrote. I would write every day. Um, yeah. Some of it's emotional shit. Some of it's deep shit. Some of it's crazy shit. What? Video. I'm going to show people. I'm going to show you that picture where you show me that big bag. Wow. That's a... Yo. Oh, that's a... That's a what? Yeah. You know what Thing. Like my life's crazy, but I mean, um, I wish there was like an each like a Hollywood story on me or something. Not a Hollywood story, but like a documentary on me because my life has been very crazy. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? Like seriously? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You remember? You remember what happened with Snoop Dogg? How he that case? And you know his song. I think it's called "Murder Is the Case" or whatever. Yeah. I really wanted to like remake that song, like. In my own perspective, in my own way, because I mean, they're trying to say I did all this stuff and I'm this horrible person, but I'm not. I could never be like everybody who actually truly knows me knows that I'm genuine. Like, I'm. Um, I don't give a fuck what people think about me. I'm very true. I mean, why are you out right now? I guess. I guess they they must believe something. You know what I mean, like, like. Am I right or wrong? Why are you out? right? They don't let they don't let, like was Snoop Dogg out? He wasn't out at all. He he had to go through the whole trial locked up, locked the yeah. f up. You yeah. home on house arrest. So yeah. So like 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 they probably they probably know that you're you're innocent, right? Like, yeah, I think it's, I, my innocence is, like, it's proven itself, you know what I mean? Yeah. They just, um, I'm not going to let them constantly, like, defame who I am and slander my name and everything because, I mean, it hurts, like, genuinely it hurts. Like, I've had to go through so much shit in the last couple years of my life, and now even to have them go through more, it's, it's crazy. You, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. So, what? but it's it's been interesting. When's your next court day? Is um, I actually go to court on October fifth. Um, right. but it's to get me off a of house arrest and um, so I can actually like have somewhat of a life again. I guess you can say. Wow. 
So I'm like, it's crazy, but this is my life and I'm living it. Yeah. So. I've gone through crazy times. What? We all, I've been through some crazy times too, but we all crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and what doesn't break you makes you stronger. And clearly, I'm pretty fucking strong. So I can handle anything that gets thrown at me. Facts. Now, yeah. I just got to ask you. I just want to ask you one thing. To get okay. Dope jail story. Because you was locked up for almost two, two years. I need yeah. Dope jail story from you. Know what I mean? Okay, well, um, there's a few. So. People are like, what, you know, what experience did you learn from jail? Okay, well, I learned a lot of crazy shit in jail. One, there's, like, in the jail that I was in, of course, like, the guys are under us. So, every, like, some of my friends would send me all these pictures of myself. And, I mean, my pictures are fucking amazing. So, I would fish them through the toilet <laughs> to the dudes down below me. So, they have, like things to I guess jack off to or whatever the fuck like I'm uh like I was pretty much a celebrity in there like I had a lot of haters it's okay I got in a lot of fights it is what it is I'm not I'm not gonna back down from anything if someone comes at me the wrong way I'm just gonna hold my ground but it was crazy I've I went through some shit in there I was always raided in there because they were convinced that I had drugs in there they were I mean it was, it was nuts. Just watching how, like, people interact in jail, it was a whole different situation for me. Like, I never let myself get down. I never let myself cry. I never let myself be depressed. Because if I was depressed, then my whole fucking situation is going to be fucked up. But. So. But it's okay. I'm fine. I'm alive. I'm happy. So, now I just have to figure out what's next. And I won't know what's next until after this is done. October 5th is... Yeah, I go to court, um, hopefully to get off house rest to reassess my bond conditions. And, yeah. So, and I'm ready. I'm like, I'm so ready for it. So, so well, enjoy your time. Uh, uh, so, enjoy everything while you can out here. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. and I believe, I believe, I believe everything will turn out all right. Yeah. We're going to do another interview when all this passes. Yeah. All this stuff. Um, I'm sure we got a lot of other platforms. Yeah. Sorry. And I'm going I'm to start spreading, start spreading to other people. Yeah. And, Story. And um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just really dope. Man. So you got to get out there and we got to prove your innocence because I, I really do believe this dude was really beating you. He was, you know. Oh, yeah, he was. He was. He, I mean, he, he did a lot of shit. Yeah, at, like, 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 like when we were talking, we were just talking about music. You know what I'm saying? We were talking about music. Yeah. My music. Let's get on the trap record. Whatever. Let's get on this drill record. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? You, and me, and Peru. We was about to do some. Yeah. And um. And that, that's what we was focused on. And then boom. I'm like. Yep. Yo, whatever happened to uh? I'm saying I never, I never, I never, I never heard from her. And then I go to, and I go to the page and I, boom, I, and everything's there. So I, yeah, I mean, yeah. And Peru and Peru was like, I've been on what happened. I was like, and you can never tell me. Why didn't you tell me? He was like, he was like, he said he didn't even care. He was like, I don't care. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's uh, I, I care. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I care. I was worried. I was like, 
I was like, I saw pictures, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, even before the situation happened, pictures, I remember you talking about it. You know, yeah. like, like the, your, 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 your partner was beating on you. Stuff like that, yeah. and 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 I was like, "Yo, why don't you just leave him? Why don't you just leave him? You no, know, come back to Staten Island. Go back to Staten Island. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some things are easier said than done, and I wish I would have left. I wish I would have let that go a long time ago. But now I um, just have to accept it for what it is. Facts. Yeah. Perfect. But I really appreciate this. Like you're I amazing. Really appreciate you for giving me this interview, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, um and yo, while while you're at your crib, why don't you do the music? You got I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm ready to, like, um I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Like I have a really nice Apple computer here, so You got some stuff. You got some stuff at your crib, like like a microphone. Like, I just I just have to reorder it. I'm gonna reorder it all because um so, I was actually gonna do that today and just figure out what I need to do. Well, let's work on this music. You know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm down. Let's make like a couple of tracks together. You know what I'm saying. Right. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Candy stacks up in the place. You know yeah. You don't got. Grills right now. I, I know. My girl's like not even here. And it's like hot outside. I'm like burning it. It's like fucking hot. Fucking Texas heat sucks. Yeah, it's like Vegas, right? Vegas heat is worse. Yeah. Well, Vegas is like dry heat. This is like fucking annoying, humid. Right. My hair is falling. I'm like, it's oh, hot. God, I'm sweating. You could tell it's starting to get cold again because it's almost October. You know what I mean? Yeah. October, Halloween coming up. That's my birthday. Halloween? Yes. Ooh, yo, I'm not lying. I'm a Libra. Yeah. But I'm going to have to end this interview. I appreciate it. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to talk to you again, though.